Hello and welcome to this quick video. Today I'm going to show you a feature that we've had in Compress for many years or if you're new to Compress, a feature that you're going to have available to you. Um, and I want to talk about liquid levels. Now why are they important? Well as you can see here we have a vessel on the screen but these vessels don't always contain a gas. They might contain a liquid and as such we have to consider the static head and how that affects our vessel. Um, really it affects the pressure and since we're designing ASME tanks we really you know, one of the biggest inputs we have is the pressure input, right? So you can imagine here, this is my tall tower here, if I've got a, a liquid level all the way up to the top, that pressure is going to vary along the length of the column. So you can see here the nozzle down at the bottom, N1 will have a different design pressure than say N4, N3, N2, etc. as we go up the tower. Now one of the other things we can do in compress is we can also design for multiple cha uh, chambers. So I'm just going to show you the inside of this vessel here by clicking on my show internals button and you can see I've got an internal head with a liquid level in that bottom chamber. Now to go ahead and set up a liquid level is very easy. All you do is you come up here to the loads menu and you select liquid level and we're going to select to the uh, bound by the top head. So this is going to be our top chamber. Click OK and then these are the inputs we'll need. If you want to fill it all the way up to the top we can calculate that for you or you can drop it down to a predetermined height. Then we just need to know the specific gravity and we're good. So I'll click OK. And you'll see this black line with the liquid level mark on it. There you have it. So now everything below this is going to have that additional static head added onto its design pressure. Now it's automatically done for you. So this is key because we don't have to manually go and change every single value like most programs out there have you do. We're automatically taking care of it. So let's just take for an example the chamber down here. Like let's say we had a couple nozzles above here. So let's just take nozzle one uh, here. So I'm going to do a really cool trick that you guys may not know about. I'm going to select nozzle one from my component view and I'm going to hit control C, which I'm going to copy it and control V and paste it. And I'm going to paste two nozzles like so above N1. Right, so I've got nozzle 1, nozzle 6, and nozzle 7. Great. So now that I have a liquid level acting on all of them, let's just have a quick look at the report. So again, I'm going to run the calculation quickly. Alright, so we're in the report. So I'm going to come over here. Down here I'm going to select N1. And what I'm going to do is scroll through the top. So these are our summary tables. And right where it says reinforcement calculations for internal pressure, the internal design pressure that I specified originally was 100 psi. So why do I see 102.93? Well, that's going to be your static head. So that's going to be automatically accounted for you. So the first nozzle has 102 uh, psi. And we'll even tell you here in the summary report the liquid static head included is 2.93. If I go down to nozzle 6, again, another one of the ones that I copied, it's going to be reduced because we're going up the channel. So in other words, that's 0.87 static head. If I come down, you'll see the calculations, how that'll be automatically considered. Now this is a very simple example. If I switch back to the tower here, you can see they're not too far apart. But the point is, when we start jumping from, say, the bottom of the tank, let's say we've got a uh, nozzle coming out of the bottom head, and maybe it's elbowing out the skirt, that's going to have a bigger design pressure than say the nozzle on top and that can often sometimes be enough to actually not meet code and then we have to design for that. So the great news is if you're using compressed this is automatically considered for you or if you have to make changes to the liquid level you don't have to go and retype in all of the new design pressures or calculate the static head. It's already automatically done for you. So there you have it. That's how we can automatically consider liquid levels on your vessel for you automatically.